wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best digital oscilloscopes. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, a USB Type-C port provides both power and data transfers to the Handtech 2D72 3-in-1, though it can also run on its rechargeable lithium battery. It functions as a waveform generator and multimeter, as well as an oscilloscope. This is a two-channel model with a kickstand for hands-free use. However, it tops out at 20 MHz. At number 9, the SignsTech DSO213 protects its sensitive electronics in a lightweight but durable housing that resists corrosion and damage. That makes this compact unit a smart choice for travel or for using as you move around a worksite. It's equipped with a vibrant color display and 8 megabytes of storage, but it offers a very limited bandwidth. Coming in at number 8 on our list, the SanSmart DSO212 Pocket Size is one of the most portable options around, weighing in at just 90 grams with its 500 mAh battery installed. Its touchscreen interface is simple and intuitive, and it can store up to 8 megabytes of data. It's less than half an inch thick and features dual trigger modes. However, it operates somewhat slowly. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for digital oscilloscopes or simply click beneath this video. At number seven, the manual, track and automatic cursor modes on the Rigol DS1102E let you dial in exactly how and where you want a given wave to trigger it, making it easy to identify aberrations in a continuous circuit or capture random anomalies. It includes a pass-fail function for product tests and a lock that prevents accidental changes, but the display is on the small side. Moving up our list to number six, the Rigol DS1054Z has four separate channels, so it can track multiple voltage sources at the same time. It also comes with an impressive amount of memory as standard, though some of its abilities disappear after a trial period and then cost more to use. This is a good entry-level choice with several types of trigger functions. However, it does suffer from some noise. Halfway up our list at number 5, the Siglent SDS1202X-E is one of the best options for beginners. It boasts some truly professional grade features, though its lack of logic analysis keeps it from the top of the company's lineup, even if it does simplify things for novices. It features a 200 MHz bandwidth and a high waveform capture rate, but it occasionally freezes. At number 4, a 300 MHz bandwidth, 4 channels and a 1.17 nanosecond rise time make the GW Instec GDS2304A one of the most capable options and its segmented memory ensures you can keep an accurate record of all your readings. It features 2 giga samples per second and an 8 inch screen, however it is a very pricey selection. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the display on the O1 XDS3204E measures 8 inches and offers touchscreen functionality to simplify interaction with a number of parameters. A reliable square wave generator makes it easy to calibrate a probe. This is a slim and portable design with an 8-bit vertical resolution and 13 trigger types. Our newest choices can only be seen at Wiki. .easyvid.com. Go there now and search for digital oscilloscopes or simply click beneath this video. At number two, the Handtech Storage DSO5102P offers many of the features and abilities you might expect to see on more expensive models. These include a large full color seven inch display, a 100 megahertz bandwidth limit, and a high sample rate. It boasts two probe channels, an intuitive layout and reliably precise readings. And coming in at number one on our list, the Siglent Technologies SDS1104X-E is a top-of-the-line model capable of recording 400,000 waveforms per second. It features impressive 256 level intensity grading and color temperature modes, which allow you to detect even minute shifts in current. 
The screen is bright and clear and it suffers from very little noise. It can store up to 80,000 frames. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for digital oscilloscopes or simply click beneath this video.